Hey guys, Turtle here, and today I want to introduce some new kind of concept for videos. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in it, but just write me in the comments if you want to see more of this and if yes, what sort of buildings you want me to do and yeah, then I'll do it. If not, just tell me not to make any more of those series, but yeah, let's explain what series I'm planning to do first. So I'm planning to do some sort of let's build. So I'm going to show how to build some certain stylistic sort of house. In this episode, I want to show you how to make an interesting looking medieval or mid-age city. And yeah, this is what I got so far. So I built a few times on this. It's more like a private server for myself. I might turn it into some sort of showcase server in future. But yeah, we'll see that when yeah, if the series goes on or not. So let's begin with the basics. So what I use for the, those houses is stone bricks and cobblestone. So the first thing you want to think of is you usually don't want just a um, usual form for the house like this. If there's like one or two of those, it doesn't look bad, but usually you want something with more edges and yeah, so it looks more interesting. So let's just begin right here. Before I start building the next house to this, I have to see that there's a four distance between the houses. So the rooftops collide there, but it doesn't look too bad. And yeah, I like this kind of dark feeling of the city and it makes it more interesting and feels more like in a real city and not just like there's a house and here's a house and that's it. So let's begin with this. So you first want to build, yeah, just four high, more like a column or something, and then just go to either side and go down wherever you want. Build another thing four high, and yeah, just pretty much follow the steps I'm doing here. So as you can see, there's another four distance right here. Ah, did a mistake. So you need to have it like this, for example. And then we can have another four high thing here. I'm gonna just fast forward this part now and I'll see you in a sec. So now we have done the basic structure of the building. This is pretty much the most important thing when you're building something because if this is like really boring on all the buildings or if they're pretty much the same all the time, it will look shitty in the end. So try to bring some variety in this part and yeah, you will get good results. Now, after we got this basic thing, we want to place on the bottom layer and on the top layer cobblestone. And let's do that everywhere real quick. And I'm a fast forward again. So now we got this done. Now there's some little bit harder part, I would say. You need to get windows in there because if the windows would be like this, it would just look awkward in the end. So usually you will want to have those one by one windows because they look quite nice. So just see that there's at least one distance to the stone bricks and then you should be fine. And then just put more cobblestone in the middle so it looks decent. Sometimes you might want to put in some different windows Try to keep a little bit distance between the windows so it doesn't look like it's too close to each other. But for example, nah, nah, bad example. Sometimes you could also have like two by two windows. Like for example here, it wouldn't look bad if there's a two by two window. But we might want to make the entrance here so we just leave this gap right here. Now that this is done, we just put in fence posts in all the openings. And let's take a door so we can put that in there too. 
So we put the doors here, looks decent. And, oh, forgot about this part. Yeah, it looks decent. And what shall we do here? Let's do a single window. And now we just put the fence posts in here. If you wonder what the texture pack is called, it will be a link in the description explaining everything about the texture pack and where you download it and all that kind of stuff. So don't worry, just look down there and you'll find out. So now we got the fence posts in there. They look quite nice as windows, so yeah, let's go to the next step. For this one, we need wood. Better, yeah, not the used wood, but the wood you just cut down from trees. Now you want to go one away from the wall, so it stands out of the house, kind of. And then you just want to go all around the house. So, dun, dun, dun. let's do that on all the sides. And yeah, so we got the basic shape in wood, just one bigger. So now we go up by, from that layer, we go up three. Then we got the height of the room and then one more. So we got one higher than the room will be. Then you, yeah, you basically just go all around the shape again. I'm a fast forward right here. So now we're done with this too. Now the thing we need is snow. If you're using another texture pack, you might want to use wool. Could look good too, but with my texture pack, snow is just way better. And it usually looks even better than the wool. So just do the same as you did down there with the cobblestone, just do it with the snow. So we did this, it's basically the same as with those. You will look for places where you can put windows, just like that. And then you put fence posts in there and you're basically done with those walls. But on one thing you should look out for is like, there shouldn't be such huge places just with snow. So just put some more lock in there and it looks, yeah, better. This one isn't like the perfect house, but it looks quite nice and in the end it will fit in the city pretty well. If you like to the roads and everything, it will look really nice. So let's finish off the windows. For example, here we could have a double window to make it more interesting. Then let's just yeah, do the usual one by one windows here. And nah, always doing the same mistakes. <laughs> so, and the last part. So now you're basically done with the second stage of the house from the outside. Let's just finish this off and then I'll show you the next step. Oops. So, and two more and we're done. So now we need to make the rooftop. Before making the rooftop, you need want to think about how you want it. If you want it to be some sort of curve like it's here or if you want a rooftop like this. And yeah, there's a big yeah, variety of rooftops you could make. For this mid-age style, I definitely recommend using brick because you have the usual brick blocks, you have brick, brick slabs and you have brick stairs. So you have anything you need to do, use for yeah, a rooftop. So for this one right here, I 
just think we should get some wood and snow again and make it so it goes up here. So it meets in the middle. And yeah, after you did this, you basically want to go to the side of the building, this one wooden brick stairs there. So it's right on the side of the building, on the lock layer here, and then go up in some sort of staircase style. Now, if up there, if your house is so it goes into one block in the middle, you just put some brick slabs there and it will look fine if you got two there. Let's search for a good example. For example, like here. Then you want to put two brick stairs facing in different in the opposite di directions and you get yeah, a nice rooftop ending there. Now you just do that all the way until you're here. And yeah, I'm a fast forward. So after that's done, you want to have it in some di diagonal shape right here. This will make it work out the best. Now on the sides like this, you want to put, wait, am I doing this right? I don't think so. No, you want to put the slabs. So if it goes to the outside like this, then you put slabs right there just like this on all the stages and then you can just put other staircases here and it will look like a decent curve. Let's just put some more down here so you can see it perfectly and voila. You're pretty much done with the hardest and most annoying part of the roof. On the inside you want to put full brick blocks so not only the slabs but real blocks because otherwise you would see like inside of the house right here so you don't want that to happen so you put full blocks there and you should be fine let's just finish off this part and then yeah so now as you can see we got a nice curve there and Let's just finish off the roof here. And it looks pretty nice from the top also. So you got what you want. Now you just do the same thing as you did on the other side. On this side, just put the blocks up there. If the wide of the building isn't as far as right here, if it's Mm, let's see, for example, more tiny like here and if it's even smaller than this one, you should think of not having those with lock but just put them in snow and put one lock in the middle so it looks more interesting. But on the white ones or on ones like this, it would just look shitty if there was lock right here. So you want to just have snow in the middle. Let's fly back here and I'm gonna finish the roof and then yeah give some more details on it. So now I pretty much got the rooftop done. I just need to extend it by one into this direction so it looks better and it gives that little bit dark feeling in the streets of the city. Let's just put those here. Always look in the direction you want the block to face when you, you're placing the staircases so you don't get them in the wrong direction like for example this. 
always do that and it will work perfectly. So, and voila. Now I'll just put snow in these and maybe let's see how it would look with lock in the middle. That's how it looks with only snow and this is with lock in the middle. Let's just keep the lock in the middle. Doesn't look bad on this roof, but that's just personal preferences. You can just choose what you like better. So now from the outside, the house looks pretty much done. So that's cool. Now you want to make like little lanterns or for example, torches look pretty good in the medieval style because yeah, lanterns weren't that much used back then. So you might want to use torches right there. Now for the inside, I would recommend using wood as the floor and I'll show you a nice example of interior that I would recommend using. So over here with this house, I tried to make some nice interior. This is more like a bar or something with the texture pack. For example, those, yeah, it's, there was our paintings, but they pretty much look like yeah, flags or banners, something like that. So that's really cool and fitting. Right here, I put some swords across above the doors. So that looks cool too. Then I just put down like those little stone tables, which are made out of one fence post and then a stone pressure plate on top of that. You can also use wooden pressure plates. And then right here, I used some yeah, cross and then to put some flowers on top of it and use the trapdoor for the side so it looks like a pot or something. And in the bar, I just put like this little thing here so it looks more like a bar and put some knives there, some furnaces right here and some storage room with chests. And yeah, so it looks pretty nice. And once again, here I'm using a, ah, a trap door to yeah, make the opening to the whole thing. And using fence posts here once again, because they just look pretty good in the medieval style. Now, right here, I made some rooms, also with like fitting pictures and everything. If you go inside, I just made them pretty tiny, so it looks like it would just be some little inn or hotel so they got a table books and a bed and just a chest so they can store stuff this one is pretty close to it this is a double room with another picture so it looks pretty neat and just a small thing so it's nothing too expensive but it yeah it just fits to the style of the whole city yeah now I'm just going to give you some basic tips on what you should look out for if you're trying to build a medieval or just any kind of city like this. I'm actually building this on a flat world, but the thing is I'm not just having it all flat because that would look pretty crappy, but I used a tool called Voxel Sniper, might have heard of it, might not to make like the huge mountains and so it looks nice in the distance and also I try to bring some height differences by like this is one higher than the rest of the houses also those houses are a little bit higher so it just looks more interesting if you're walking through the town and you have some yeah differences so it doesn't look that boring also you can use like stone mossy stone bricks or the cracked stone bricks in this texture pack they look like some decorations so you can also put those on the sides for example just like every 10th block but don't take like always the same number just try to make it look random so it's always the best if it looks a little bit random but not too random so yeah that gives a nice touch also you can like use those vines from place to place but don't make the make it so they can get too big or spread too far because that will make the whole thing look a 
little bit shady after oil and you don't want it. Also, I'm using some spider wraps, so it gives more like an, yeah, old touch and it's not like a modern house or something, you can see that. Also here I brought in this little detail with a lot of spider webs as if no one was here before, just some books and paper in this thing and some, yeah, mistakes at the bottom so it looks, yeah, more realistic and not just like it would have been built yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, it would be amazing if you could give me some feedback in the description, ah, in the comments or even if you didn't like it, give me some constructive criticism. Just tell me what I should change or what you would prefer to see. If there are any series you want to see more, if I'm like, if I should do more module reels, which is kind of a problem right now because 1.1 just came out and most of the mods need to wait until they get updated. So that will take a little bit of time. But if you want to, me to make more seed videos and that kind of stuff, just tell me in the comments. I'm always open for more recommendations. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah episode and if you did so it would be amazing if you could leave a rating and yeah that's it for today 